taking this pearl highlighter and we're just doing this kind of like line all the way through here which sort of like gives the illusion of a little bit of a lift you don't really see it until she turns and then you get this kind of like little bit of cellophane at the, at the side it's very John Batista there's always an element of white or black or shine so this season it's here <laughs> nothing but it's still you got the look <laughs> after feeling that the makeup is really natural this season you can recognize the models and <laughs> Both scraped back and then straightened in the back and we're adding a little bit of an extension on the girls who don't have it cut straight at the bottom. And then it's a little bit of a difference in texture. The front is shiny and it's still shiny in the back, but it's not as wet looking. And we're just spraying the hair with hairspray and then blow drying it and making it really lacquered in the front. The hair is like a kind of simple, but it's really nice. Yeah. I opened my legs. It was cool. I never met him before. I went for a casting, and then he said, "Okay, we can. You're going to open the show." And I was like, "Oh, it's very honoured." And he's such a lovely man. It's always great to open a show because you get to set the pace, you get to set the tone. So it was very cool. The white is like the colours of a man's shirt. So I love the idea of bringing like uh, uh, my my pretty dresses, my pretty girls, cover up with cool pieces of her boyfriend wardrobe or her husband wardrobe. <laughs> The first look is a white um, outfit, of course really beautiful <laughs> and really warm as well, so I'm not cold now. <laughs> lovely white skirt it's not even white it's like a milky color and then I have a vest beautiful shoes so it's like and I have a bow here very very fluffy and beautiful so I'm like next winter I know exactly how I'm gonna be dressed all in white with just a white coat. I'm gonna be so chic. like urban metallics like uh, the front face of a building in New York it's like a subway so I love the idea of this industrial side mix it up with this kind of refinement of, of the gauche it's fabulous it's effortlessly elegant and it's easy to wear and it's sporty and I'm not going to use the word chic because I think it's so abused this word chic chic now for me means sexless no woman in their right mind wants to be sexless
this mix of couture but for uh, day wear. It's very interesting because you see that you can wear this daytime and okay, you're a chic woman, but you can't wear it with the uh, sneakers. I really like separate the two worlds. There is like the haute couture and the ready to wear. And so I, the ready to wear is really about design. And the other one, the couture, it's about the dream. I love the fact that his couture is very different to his ready to wear. And I think if you're going to do couture and ready to wear, there has to be a difference. Otherwise, a client says, well, what am I paying for? And he's right, and that's good. You know, he's clever, John Batista, because you, he listens to his clients. He knows as well, these are easy clothes to wear, yet you look a million dollars. Hold back the night The bank idea is to have like a click button. You know, you have an iPhone, you have like an email, so you click. And the moment that you click, you open like an universe. It's the value bag that you can reinterpret it in 20 ways. Come to my house and say we're friends. I can't help but see. Very, very sweet dress. It's pink and it's so, so, so sweet. I love it because um, I'm looking like a little princess. And then I'm coming near part. No, like clear part suit, so I love it. <laughs> I love this idea of a urban with this kind of flat kind of look with these big parkas. I love it to work on this coolness, no? I love the idea that, you know, you can almost like walk like in the subway with. I would wear my outfit. It's a really cute mink little shirt and jacket that's trimmed with mink and it's nice it's simple yeah it's it's minimal and I feel like Cinderella it's very it's very fresh and young and and cute cleaner, less decorative, uh, less ladish in a way, you know, everybody makes this effort, it doesn't look uh, so fashionistas, but more uh, a real one, uh, and at the same time some more uh, extravagant, but in a, in a new, uh, different way. like really to mix like the two wardrobes as I started to do like in the last event spring summer collection but even the idea to get to get this kind of urban look so the urban for me it's really to town New York and Rive Gauche Paris and to have the femininity over there the urban in Manhattan so I love finding the balance between the two things <laughs> His 
got that Roman's eye for fabric. But just living in Paris, he knows about wonderful fit. I mean, it was just sort of fabulous mix. Really fabulous. For me, it was his best show yet. I see my girls when they go with like an evening dress and then they have cold and they, they, they put over like a park or something over. That, that's so many they do it right now. So it's just the look of reality sometimes, you know. his work because it's all about elegance and nobody talks about elegance nowadays anymore and it looks vintage but it's not that's a good thing mm -hmm.